10, 15 years ago, I met a young lady who wanted to start a business. She was about 18 years old and she wanted some money to start a business. She, she'd lost her parents, both her parents to HIV, and so she had come to live in Kampala. Some distant relatives took her in. Of course, they are kind, they are sympathetic, they give you shelter, they give you food, only for a certain amount of time. Then they tell you, go out and get a job. We can't pay your fees. You're old enough to get a job. And when you struggle so hard you don't get a job, you end up only contemplating using your body. Ultimately, very many people become victims of this, you end up in prostitution. She was not going to go down that road. She was saved, she was religious, she believed she could do something, but she didn't have the capital. So I challenged her, what do you want to do? What can you do? Do you have any talent? Can you do something with your hands? She says, I'm only good at cooking chapati. In those days, there was no Rolex. But she said, I'm really good at chapati. When I make a chapati, everybody says my chapatis are very good. So what do you require? She needed a, a sigiri, what we call a sigiri, which is a cook stove. She needed some charcoal. She needed a frying pan, some cooking oil, and some flour. A little bit of water. She says, if I start making chapatis here, everybody will come around my chapatis because I make excellent chapatis. What is the total capital required? It was 100,000 shillings. And she could buy a whole packet of flour. Now, the packet of flour cost about 12,000 shillings at the time. But she could sell, if she used the whole packet and made enough chapatis, she would get 200,000 shillings out of the 100,000 shillings invested. Now, that was not a very hard business. Day one, you cannot sell the full packet of, of flour. So maybe it will take you three or four days. But by the time the full packet of flour was sold, she had earned 200,000. She had paid for the saucepan, she had paid for the charcoal grill, she had paid for the charcoal. Now she needed one capital for the next cycle, because she had now run out of charcoal, she needed more cooking oil, but she had used up the packet of flour. Which shows you that a small business that can turn around in four days, the whole packet of flour, and then her customer base grew, then she'd start using one packet per day. And then she needed three or four packets per day because the customer base kept growing. Because when that lady made those chapatis, everybody would come from their offices because of the smell of those chapatis. And she'd sold them right, they were just soft, they were just right. And those days, Chapati was like, wow. Now the next level came with people doing, making mosana. And the mosana ones were even better because all they were doing was putting two eggs in the chapati. A little bit of chili or a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of a sweetener, whatever it took to make that chapati. Then they started cutting the onions and putting the onions in the dough before they make the chapati. Then it became flavored and they could charge so much more. But really the cost of making the chapati had not changed that much. But they moved from selling a chapati at 300 or 400 shillings to 1,000, 1,500. You can have beans and eggs and whatever mixed inside it. And so the concept of Rolex came. So people can build on these small business ideas just because of being innovative, because they start with the little they have. They don't wait to have the big capital. So it's not really about the money. Fundamentally, it's about you, the person. You can choose to make that break, start with that, and then slowly build on it and scale. Now this lady, let's call her Jessica, she's the one who began this chapati business. Today she runs a restaurant. She pays the rent, she employs many people, she has trained people to make her Rolexes, her chapatis, to cook matoke, to cook food, and she's got a, a big following. She's still in Owino Market, that's where she works, and she's got a good household. She's got children of her own now, and she's still a spiritual lady. She believes in her values. She's virtuous, she's strong, and she's confident. And no one will take away what she's got because she used her natural born talent to cook a chapati. That's all it began with. So anybody can get into business. It all depends on your mindset, your attitude, and you can make a difference.